New text message from Bay. Read new message. Please bring home a raspberry pie on your way home tonight. Reply. Do you want anything with the raspberry pie? It's pretty plain by itself. Message sent. Seen. No reply. She left you unread. My wife isn't the most tech-savvy person in the world. She knows how to run Microsoft Excel and do lots of normal computer person things, but when it comes to doing things like Linux and command line interface, she doesn't really have much experience with that. So I can't imagine why she would be asking me to bring home a Raspberry Pi for dinner. Oh, maybe what's going on is because Valentine's Day is coming up, she wants me to make her something using a Raspberry Pi. I bet that's what it is. Well, off to the electronics store. Thanks to the power of montage, it feels like that three week long period went by in a couple minutes. But we're home now and we're gonna go see what she thinks. So why did I decide to make one of these instead of just saving a lot of time and just going out and buying something? Well, the main reason is because with this one, because this is going to be in the kitchen, it's a touch screen, so you don't have to worry about getting a keyboard dirty. And something else I've added, because this is, after all, going in the kitchen, it has some video add-ons. Specifically, Food Network, as well as anything on YouTube, 
But my personal favorite video add-on here has got to be the Bob Ross YouTube channel. By just clicking on this, you can select any of the videos on that channel and be transported to a new place of serenity and not a pile of dishes that I've been putting off for too long. Now, it's one thing to show you guys on YouTube what I've done, but what I'm most excited to see isn't this video, but rather Lindsay's reaction to this. So I really liked your 50s aesthetic for the kitchen, and I think it could use one more thing. Okay.